to, to, to recruit. It's, it's a little different because after the game, we get to spend a little bit more time with them, uh, you know, on unofficial visits. Uh, uh, so I'll have a, a kid come up from Louisiana, and, you know, he'll do all the, the things with the recruiting staff. And then after the game, I'll get more time with him, you know, because it's not a night game when they're trying to get back on the road. We have, we have the afternoon, and, you know, we do the big picnic and all that stuff. So I'll get to get around and be around him and his folks. And, and basically, you know, they get to see what I'm about as a football coach, you know, as a recruiter and also as a position coach. So those, those things are a little bit different in that process. Now Brett mentioned the benefits of you guys having yours so late. It seems like you maybe get more kids in than otherwise because you're not competing with other spring games. Have you I, noticed that? I, I have, you know. Uh, everywhere I've been, I've always been the last spring game, so I'm used to it. And, you know, we are, I think, taking advantage of getting some kids up here because there is nowhere else to go. Thank you. I know, obviously, you don't want you know, Jared to be banged up right now, but with him being out, of course, and some of the younger guys to get the more reps, is that almost kind of a blessing in disguise? I hope so. I hope it is, you know, because uh, Jared knows, knows it all. And uh, to, to be able to get these young guys some of those reps is – is a plus, you know. I uh, the thing that I uh, I want to see is the continuity with with Austin start to develop, and uh, you know that him and Austin and Jared has have such a great rapport. They kind of understand each other, and for Lamichael to develop that, or Dion, or the rest of the guys, you know, Brandon and Jonathan and Jordan to get that with and get on the same page with. Austin is going to be it's going to be big for us. You talk about the young guys and the new guys. The opportunity, though, they see it. They know that they have a chance to earn a spotting role. And how are they embracing that? Right now, I think they're coming slow. Right. Slow. You know, they're uh, they're not where we need them to be uh, by no stretch of the word. But uh, you know, that's why we practice. That's why we're out here. We're gr- trying to grind every day and and put those guys in a position to to make it. If I would challenge any of them. It's just to go out and grab the bull by the horn and go. You know, uh, it's a great opportunity for a lot of guys on our football team, but even more at my position for guys to step up and make plays. And they're playing hard, but they're not where we need them to be right now. Is it a hesitation thing, or do you think they're just maybe someone's just waiting to, to step up and break out? I think it's a combination of both. You know, uh, I thought Michael early had really separated himself and was doing some really good things. Uh, I can't say that the last two practices. Uh, not that he's practicing bad, but he's not separating himself like he did early. Uh, and that's and you know I'm, I'm I'm proud of where Mike is. I don't want, I want that to be clear, but I know he's a better wide receiver and he'll continue to grow. Same thing with Jordan. Same thing with Dion. You know I just I expect so much of him and I want him to do that. And then you know if we can continue to bring Jonathan and Brandon and the rest of the guys along, I think we'll we'll have a good receiving core.